Yeah, I mean, we've been celebrating from the get-go. You know, as soon as I received the, the script, I was celebrating. I was just so thrilled that we get to tell this amazing story. And today, you know, it's it's been a tough kind of a couple, like two years. And we're finally out here safely celebrating with our colleagues and friends. And just to see the crowd and people's excitement, it just means the world to me. Yeah, well, it's a Marvel film, so you can expect tons of fun, humor, heart, and action, of course. But I think the audience will uh, probably resonate, I think, personally, I think they will resonate with the fact that family, every family has its own challenges, but at the same time, it's love that bonds us, and love is always worth fighting. It's my first time ever promoting a film in the whole Europe continent and in London, so I'm really, really excited because it's just, you know, it's been a rough two years, you know, and, and we've been all over the place, you know, we were in Australia, we were in LA, um, filming this film, it, it, you know, it's just so much effort of our entire team, over, you know, hundreds of people, and finally we're bringing the final product here to the audience in London, so I'm super excited. I think the audience can um, expect that it's a fun movie, foremost. It's just, you know, visually so stunning and so fun to watch. There are a lot of really live action scenes and different styles of martial arts that you will see in this film. And lots of, you know, good old Marvel special effects. Um, but at the same time, it's a very touching story. It's a beautiful story. I hope think people leaving the theater will think about their families, um, think about their loved ones, because it is a story about family. The character I play is called Lee. Um, she is a fierce warrior coming from the village of Talo, but she's also uh, the loved one uh, of Wen Wu, and she's the mother of Shang-Chi and Xiaoli. Shang-Chi is the most exciting addition to the Marvel Universe because he will be the first Asian superhero in the Marvel Universe. Um, and he is funny, he's humor, humorous, he's handsome, and he can kick ass. And he's my son, so yes, he's so special. <laughs> My first reaction was just sheer surprise because I did not learn about my role. I didn't hear about the casting at all for the longest time. And suddenly when I, when I was on my honeymoon, I got a phone call in Antarctica. And it finally got a hold of me. And they told me that they wanted to make this offer to me. So I was just so surprised, uh, beyond disbelief. And then I was also really, really excited to join. And I left my husband. Uh, at honeymoon and I just left him and I went to training straight away. <laughs> oh gosh, I, I love this cast. Um, we have, you know, the best cast. I feel like we not only have amazing actors such as Tony Le, who's a legend in the world cinema, but at the same time, we have uh, people who are just in their first film, like uh, Sha Ling. Um, she is a Hmong her. she is, you know, it's her first time making a movie, but we all put our heart and soul into the film, and you really can't tell, you know, who's, who's who, because we're just acting and working like a family, um, and I got to spend a lot of time with the cast, because we got an extensive training program, and we spent a lot of time just hanging out, eating dinner, playing board games together, um, yeah, we're just best friends now. I think it's the offer, to be honest. <laughs> it's pretty simple. The offer came through, and um, I just cannot pass on such an amazing opportunity to play a role in the MCU. Um, I've always I've been a comic book fan. I've always loved Marvel films. So when I first heard about it, um, I was just like really excited. When I first heard about the project that was announced like probably like two years prior, um, then I've just been like tracking it. And um, when we finally heard from Marvel, um, they're ready to make an offer. It was just like a dream come true. Um, I actually have a funny story to tell how, how I received the offer. Um, Actually, I was uh, on my honeymoon with my husband. We were in Antarctica. And uh, so my, my agent, my managers were like really worried that they couldn't get a hold of me. And of course, they couldn't get a hold of me. So um, when they were getting phone calls from Marvel and, you know, Sarah Finn, and, and they were just like, Fala is out of reach. We don't know where she is. Uh, she's in the middle of Antarctica. And, uh, but I did thought about in case that they need to reach me for anything work related. I gave them the number of the captain of our ship that he had a satellite phone. 
So eventually they called through the satellite phone and they got a hold of me and delivered the news. Um, and of course, I was just like, this is so surreal. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And they just called me and made the offer. Um, so that was really, like, really, really exciting. But I guess the drawback was I had to leave my honeymoon two days early and um, left my husband there with all my luggages. And I just went straight to Australia for the training. Um, but I think it's worth it. I'm sure he'll agree. Lee is a, a warrior. She's a fighter. She's very independent. She's uh, very gentle at the same time. Um, she is the mother of Shang-Chi and Xiaoling. And of course, she's the wife of Wen Wu. Um, she embodies both, I feel like, the power, the strength, but also the softness, uh, the caring, and the, the loving aspect of the family. I approached my character, I guess, through really just experimenting. Um, and I think a lot of the training really informed, uh, at least like the physicality of my character. Um, and I just did a lot of research, uh, watched a lot of like wuxia films. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was constantly on my TV when I was at home, just like looping it. And just, just kind of getting myself into the world of um, kung fu and uh, martial arts fighting, because I do fight in the scenes. I related to the character less than I am actually right now, because it was my first time playing a role of mother. Um, so I had to do a lot of research and learning about what it feels like to be a mother and how to interact with kids. And we spend a lot of time with the younger actors um, just to get to know each other. But I feel like that must have been like a trial run for me because shortly after I played this role, I got pregnant and became a mother myself. So now I can totally relate to the role. I can totally understand. I'm like, oh, that's what it feels like to be really like, you know, be with kids and constantly worry about them and loving them and all of that. So I'm sure if I have another chance to play, play this role again, and I think I'll play a little bit more motherly than I would before. Oh my God, to play opposite Tony Leung. I mean, it was just a dream come true. I feel like it's every actor's dream to play with such an experience, but also so gentle, so humble, um, a, a legend uh, of an actor. And um, he really was just amazing to watch on set. And we have some scenes where we become really physical together without revealing too much. But just imagine having to remember all my, you know, martial art move movements, but at the same time being, you know, looked at, gazed upon by the Tony Leung with those, you know, those soulful eyes. And I still have to remember all my things, like my, you know, marks, my lines. It was a lot to handle. But at the same time, he's the easiest to work with. So I'm so grateful and honored to have the opportunity to work with him. My training was very intensive, like everyone else in this film. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I learned so much um, from my training, not only just about a specific type of uh, style, which is Tai Chi uh, that I use the most um, in my fights. But at the same time, I learned a lot about my, my own presence and physicality. And I, I felt that, you know, it's very much, actors we call it outside in, it was very much like my physicality kind of informed my personality in a way that I found a lot of the spirit of the character through the form of Tai Chi. Um, it's very soft, but at, at the same time, very powerful, very centered, very grounded. Um, so I'm very glad that I got trained by one of the best stunt teams in the world. And I personally had the world champion of Tai Chi to train me every day. And I mean, you know, it's, it's just so wild that, you know, I get to learn a whole new set of skills while incorporating that into my role. The audiences can expect the the most amazing um, actions they'll ever experience um, in, I feel like, any type of films because it's a combination of, you know, the beautiful romantic wuxia that you will see in traditional um, older, like, Hong Kong and Chinese films. But at the same time, you get all these, 
you know, movie magic from Marvel. And these two combined together, it's just such a visual feast that, that I can't imagine anyone would not enjoy it. But at the same time, it's a story full of heart and love. And I think everyone can relate a lot to our story, which is a very like family-centered story. And, and, and to understand that, you know, at the end of the day, no matter, you know, what race and what country you're from, family is that center of you, you know, your presence and your being and, and kind of who you are, who you will become.